it's Lael with Simple Stories. We're here at scrapbook.com and we are working on our Say Cheese 4 snap binder. We've been adding photos, we've been adding different sizes of photos and interactive photos. We've been adding embellishments and playing with stamps and dies and stencils. Now we're gonna spend a little bit of time putting together some interactive elements because um, the six by eight books, and they're good this way, but they can get a little boring. So sometimes we wanna have a little bit of fun stuff happening in there too, when it comes to interactive elements and keeping our, our reader, our person that's looking through our albums, really interested in wanting to keep looking at what's next. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little pocket out of some four by six cards. So let's grab two four by six cards and the cards I'm using here are from the Say Cheese 4 Snap cards. And all I'm going to do is adhere them together so I have a front and a back, but I don't want to adhere um, the entire card. Basically what I wanna do is I'm going to apply my adhesive, my tape runner, to the top and bottom and to the left side. I wanna keep the right side and the whole inside open so it will be a pocket. So we're just gonna place that right there. And because I didn't apply adhesive, I've got my little pocket. Then what I'm going to do, and I could put cards in here, I could put photos, whatever I wanna put in the pocket. But I have a photo and I have a card. And I would just apply adhesive. And voila. Then I could just stick that little card in there little photo and I have a nice cute little embellishment. Now what I've done here in the sample, I have added a tab sticker on both sides so that it's very obvious, oh, there's something in there I might wanna pull out. So that's our first little interactive element and super easy, easy to make. You could make that with cards, you could make it with cardstock, whatever you have um, handy, but those snap cards are super fun to add. Okay, our next little um, interactive element that we're going to make, we have this little castle that flips up and then we can have photos here. So to do that, we are going to start with two sheets from the Say Cheese 4 6x8 pad. So I have the castle and I've picked this um, similar, same color, same pattern. Um, I've picked that similar card so that when I start working with the interactive element, you don't necessarily know it's there. So we're gonna bring in a couple of different tools here. I have my trimmer and this card is six by eight and I want to trim three quarters of an inch off of the left and right side. One side. Now this three quarters of an inch, that's kind of an arbitrary measurement that I've picked. You could pick um, half inch, quarter inch, three quarters of an inch. I probably wouldn't go too much smaller than that. Then this card starts to get a little bit too thin to work with and I lose some of the design. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in a score board, the score pal, and I want to score a half inch from the top. So that is eight tall. I'll score right there at a half. I have my other six by eight coordinating piece of paper. I'm gonna slide that into the pocket. And then this little guy, I fold it over the fold and I'm gonna apply adhesive to that inside, the back side of that score. And, and incidentally, I pick a half an inch just because that is plenty wide for me to put my tape runner on. You could go a little bit smaller than that, but then it just makes it a little bit harder to do. Now, I'm actually going to grab my scissors and I'm going to trim off uh, this little bit of excess here. And you can do this with a pair of sharp scissors. You can also do it with your trimmer, as long as you have a really sharp blade. If the blade is not so sharp, then um, you probably wanna use your scissors. So I am going to now open this up. Let's do that. And then I fold that down. So now I have a little interactive element there and I could put my photos there, I could put journaling there, I could put additional cards here if I wanted. But that's a super easy little interactive. And then if I wanted at the bottom of here, I could even put some tab stickers, I could put little enamel dots to help make a little 
kind of little tab thing there. So it's really easy for me to, well, for me, for someone that's looking at my album to go, oh, you know what? There's probably something under there. And then you've got the little tab to lift up. Okay, so that's our second interactive element. The next one that we wanna look at, and this one, I think this is one of those that um, is so simple to do. And when you see it, you go, oh my gosh, why in the world have I never thought of that? This is a six by eight piece of paper that I just folded in half and tucked the bottom part in the pocket. And then the top part just sits outside of the pocket. So literally that is easy as taking our score pal and we'll take um, this paper and I'm going to score it in half. So this is eight. Actually, let's go this way. This is eight, so I'm gonna score in half at four. And I will fold that right there in half. I will bring in my pocket. We gotta put these little guys in. We'll put that little card in. This is great for a little bit of journaling. And of course, our little happy kids, these happy kids bits and pieces are so cute. And I actually even sometimes will do that where I'll just put them in the pocket and leave it clear so that you get a really kind of fun peekaboo effect. But now I have my half folded sheet and literally I'm just sliding that right there into the bottom and there you go. Now I can embellish that if I wanted I could trim it a little bit. So let's just do this really quick so you can see what I mean. Normally I would do this with the pair or with the, with my trimmer because I'm not going to be super straight here, but I can trim off a little bit of the bottom so that you see the little color peeking through. I could add tab stickers there again. So that's just a really fun, easy, interactive element again. All right, so two more. So many fun things to do here. Um, this little one, you guys. So with pocket pages, um, you don't have to leave them the way that they are. And what I mean by that, sometimes I will cut parts off and only use half a pocket page, but other times you can actually put things attached to the pocket page. So that little tag set is actually tied on through holes that pocket page. So let's go ahead and make that. I have used, um, I just have a little bit of Baker's twine that I have pre-cut. And let's grab both of those two little die cuts. Now these die cuts are from the Say Cheese Fort tags and frames. So the holes are already punched for you because they are little tags. So we will slide that through like that. So I'm going to bring in my 1 8 inch hole punch. And the size of that is very similar to the size of the hole there. Now I want to um, take that little hole punch and I'm going to punch a little one right there and a little one right there. And now I'm going to thread this baker's twine through my little, oh, through my little holes like that. And basically what I did, you can see, I've just threaded both of those little ends through and tied a knot. Then you have that really fun little interactive element, double-sided, but it's just a nice little um, way to embellish some of your pages. So our last interactive element, let's bring back in the sample here. This one also uses the um, some of the papers from the six by eight pad, but look at that. It just lifts up that way and lifts up that way. And you can have photos here or journaling and put more cards or more photos. So lots of room for additional photos there. Let's go ahead and make that. That is another, you guys, super easy one to make. Um, all these interactive things that we're doing, things don't have to be super complicated. Um, sometimes we just have to think outside the box a little bit. Bring our trimmer back in. And I want to cut this little guy um, in half. Uh, actually, before I cut it in half, or I'll end up cutting again, I want to cut like a half, quarter to a half inch off of both sides again. Uh, and you know what? I know what you guys are saying. I don't need to flip that and do both sides. I could just do that one time. All right. Then we're going to cut that in half. So now I have two pieces that are four inches tall and then a little bit thinner. All right. Notice what I just did there because there is a pattern. I wanted to make sure I had that in the correct way before I trimmed it. All right. So this is going to be my base right here. And I want to bring back in my score pal. And just like we did on the last one, we are going to score one of the last ones. We want to score um, half inch from the top 
And then this one, I want to score half inch from the bottom. So I'm gonna flip it upside down. And that is half inch from the bottom because this little guy is gonna open from the bottom and the other one's gonna open from the top. We'll take our adhesive and a little strip on that one. And you'll notice I'll keep checking to make sure. Oh yeah, that's the right one because I've got the score at the bottom. I can't tell you how many times I've done this upside down where the pattern doesn't meet up, but that's okay. The pattern not meeting up in a pattern like this is not the end of the world. If you had words, you might wanna pay a little bit more attention. And then this one is just gonna meet right up with there. My score there folds up, my score here folds down, but then I wanted to add a little something to kind of keep that closed. So I pulled one of the die cuts um, from the Say Cheese 4 collection and that is Oh Happy Day. I don't want to apply adhesive to the whole thing or else um, I wouldn't have an interactive element. I just wanna put adhesive on the top part. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there like that. And then I have my interactive element. So um, the different things that we did like this, I would just go ahead and punch the holes with my um, regular hole punch and in my album they would go. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.